is Luke again trying to generate something as he sends the football to Captain Lee. Connects with number two there on Luke Stockdale, about 30 metres out from goal. Sends it's on its way, Stockdale, he shoots, he scores, six points for Captain Lee. Andy, how you doing? Yeah, good thanks, Chris. You, uh, the Magpies played a really great game. Um, yeah. The uh, especially the on ballers, I thought. Yeah, it was great. We were we were aiming to uh, go in really hard. That's our game plan this year. Instead of a free running side, we want to be hard and tackle first. And I thought they did that sensationally from the start, and it, it opened some players up. So it was great. I think uh, you seem to have cleaner hands than Nashville, uh, especially around you know around the contests. Yeah, it was it's a bit slippery early on, but now the ground's dried out. Got it quite a bit better in the second half. But um, yeah, we've got some good, some very slick players in there, like Shane Batty and Solly and a few others. So yeah, it was really good. Uh, congratulations on uh, joint MVP <laughs> for the year. How did you feel about your season? Uh, myself, I think uh, I'm only 24 years old, so I think um, my body's a bit. Bit younger than the rest of them, so I think I can run around a bit, a bit more. But um, so you, you think you can get more, a bit more possessions? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Does the red hair help? <laughs> I think it attracts votes. <laughs> a bit like Ackermanis. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so you yeah, got a couple more games. You're your number one seed in uh, division. Yep. Um, you know how, how are you feeling about the the rest of the weekend? Oh, we we're really excited about it. The old cliche, one game at a time. Right, right. <laughs> Not one week at a time. <laughs> um, but we're really looking forward to the next game, and then if we get over that one, we're looking forward to Sunday. So it's a really fun weekend. It's not just about the footy; it's about getting together with a bunch of mates in uh, one of the best cities in the states. And yeah, we're just really excited about it. And great weather. Damien, how are you doing? Very good, Chris. How are you, mate? Bit disappointing uh, to lose uh, first up. It, uh, well, that's the way it goes. It's a uh, you know, good team, New York. We've always been there in Division One, so our boys' first chance at it. So, you know, how do you, how do you, th how, how are you guys feeling about the weekend? Um, I think for us, it's just get in, have a go. Okay. You know, it, nothing to lose. So, you know, first time here to uh, up against the big guys. So, you know, just get in, have a go. And uh, you know, even though you lost, I thought uh, you put it, you know, put great pressure on the ball. Um, you had, had had some shots there. You had a chance. Yeah, we had. I mean, I think we were right with them until about 10 minutes to go, and then uh, just couldn't quite keep up the pressure. Or they, you know, they were very clean with their skills and uh, you know used the ball well, so we didn't quite have it for the last 10 minutes. But up until then, we were right with them. So. Um, you had uh, uh, congratulations on uh, being the goal kicker of the year. Thank you. Sounds like uh, Nashville's a good place to be for a full forward. <laughs> oh. I guess uh, we've been pretty lucky with uh, Chris Mormon last two years prior and then uh, they gave me a chance this year to get out of the ruck and, and go forward. So and with Chris in Atlanta, he didn't play all the games, so he gave me a chance to kick a few. So. Uh, you get, obviously you get you know, nice nice form uh, from from the your midfield. I do, yeah. No, we've got a good good midfield with uh, a number of Aussies in there that are pretty good in the, uh, obviously the captain of the Revolution team who knows how to get the ball out, so uh, lucky there. And you picked up uh, a nice uh, number two this year, uh, Mr. Luke Stockdale. Uh, yeah, yeah big Luke from Bendigo. He's a very handy addition this year. <laughs> Certainly saves me uh, rucking all day. So that's great. That's right. yeah. um, I think you kicked uh, 30 goals. Is that right? That's right. Yeah. And I was trying to do the averages. That's uh, that's a pretty good uh, average per uh, game. Yeah. yeah well, that's that's where we wanted to be. Christina, how are you doing? 
Great, how are you, Chris? Good. So, um, how's the weekend gone so far? Amazing. Um, we won both of our games today, and um, historically, that's our first Magpie win this morning. Um, really? Yeah. Um, Congratulations. So we've been waiting. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, a, it's a combined squad, but it's mostly Magpies, right? It is. It's um, mostly Magpies, um, but we also combined with the Baltimore Washington Eagles. Um, so, Got a bit of talent from the Eagles. Absolutely. Uh, Judas Stein is just great at full forward. Eileen can bomb it down. <laughs> there was some nice passages of play, um, especially toward the end there. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so the win definitely is um, partly their <laughs> doing. So we're really grateful to have them. Sure. What happens tomorrow? Um, so tomorrow we um, basically go into the semifinals, and if we win that game, then we will go into the grand final. Well, so. Good luck. Thank you so much. Thanks. Go Pies. Shiloh, how are you doing? Well, thank you. Um, you're uh, from AFL Victoria. How's, how have you found the weekend so far? Oh, I've really enjoyed it. Um, there are some really great people here, and uh, you know the commitment from everyone is fantastic, and it's great to see that. You know, Australians and Victorians aren't the only people passionate about our game. So um, I think we've got the best game in the world and the best product in the world. And it's no surprise, really, that everyone here is so passionate about what they do. And, um, yeah, it's, it's quite a lovely experience to be here, actually. Um, they roped you into uh, coaching. So you're coaching the uh, Magpies, the New York Magpies. How do you feel about that? Well, I'm not so flash about coaching a black and white team. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, oh, look, happy to help. And it's a good experience for me to be involved in, and sort of get, I guess, an inside experience of, you know, what our women's teams here go through as opposed to what they go through at home or compared to the men here as well. And, and you know, it's a lot of fun to kind of get to know the girls. And, and that's why I love footy, because it's about the friendships and relationships you make with people. And, you know, it just gives me a whole new experience. And, um, you know, I think we all make lifetime friends out of footy and, and hopefully this weekend will be no different. Yeah, you know, how have you found the standard and or the commitment from the from the players here? Oh, commitment. There's no doubt about their commitment and, um, you know, the, the standard of footy, uh, you know, is very good and, um, you know, there's still a lot to improve on, you know, I think um, you know, the country's very young in terms of how they play the game and their understanding of the game, but um, can't fault their endeavour and, and certainly I think... Um, there's a lot of improvement. They're very coachable. Um, they just they just soak up as much knowledge as they can get, and um, and they're very good at applying what we teach them. So um, that's been the, probably the most promising thing, and the, the, the easiest thing for me to to, to work with the girls because they're really coachable and um, yeah, just apply what they what they've been taught. So hopefully from you know the work this weekend, I mean it's a very short space of time, but when they go back into training and so on next year, that they'll be able to apply the things that we've learned this weekend um, next year in future games. Great, thanks, Shah. Thank you. In the last game of the day, they had a bit of a problem against the Baltimore Eagles. They picked their mouths. Now, that definitely might be out of their minds as they come into this match knowing that they have to give it all their love and everything to follow their soul here today. They have to give up there on the green and masters of the Liverpool Champions Park. They are up against here, but. Uh, New York will be playing Golden Gate. Let's look at Golden Gate's record. Well, we know Golden Gates. They played two games yesterday. They are one and one. They defeat Zertinska. He finds Ortiz all alone. Good mark, but goes back in for Mortis Ortiz. He can't get an arm. Here's number 21 bursting through for the Grizzlies. Who is Eric Butler? He connects, and they complete down the line, further down the line, to find the number. Craig, how are you doing? Good, Matt, thanks. Um, 
bit, bit disappointing uh, to, to lose to Calgary today. Yeah, they're a good side, and, uh, and we, uh, we knew they were going to be tough when we come up against them. Um, they obviously run the show up there in, in Canada, and uh, we had a good season, and 10-0 and in the regular season, and, and won both our games yesterday. And knew we'd have a fight on our hands, and they're just a good fit running side, and uh, there's no shame in going down to a side against that. So overall, we are, we are happy with the weekend and, and you know, how you came into the weekend? Yeah, definitely. We had a really good preparation and uh, played against some good sides during the year. We managed to knock off two teams in, uh, in Division 1, Nashville and New York during the year, so we're happy with that and uh, run over most sides pretty happily, but uh, just on the day and it's a better team. So. Um, congratulations on uh, winning the uh, US Footy News MVP. Thanks for that, yes, uh, could have been any number of blokes, but uh, happy to get that and it's a nice little recognition, so I appreciate it. Yeah, what, what do you think, uh, you know, how, how did you feel with your, you know, you personally with your year? Yeah, I thought I had a pretty decent year, uh, seeing some of the blokes running around today, I'm not sure why they didn't poll a few more votes, there's some fairly talented footballers in the US and in Canada, but uh, yeah, just just happy to come and have a few kicks and uh, just uh, really excited that footy's doing so well in the United States and that it's uh, getting stronger every year, so I'm really happy about it. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. Thanks for that, appreciate it. One day against the Kangaroos, for the Kangaroos, and forward they go. Fast forward to the big guy, and half forward, a good mark being warm. Oh, yeah. Are you ready to rumble? Are you ready to feel it? Do you need a brand new one? And Robert, torpedo pun, hotly to the pocket. Oh! How you doing? Uh, this is a great feeling. I've been playing since 2002. Scoreboard. We lost to these guys in uh, 04 in a great game. They're also an awesome club. Obviously, they've dominated the league. But uh, we, had, we thought we had a great team this year, and we worked hard. We, you know, we did a lot of recruiting. We worked really hard. We put a lot of work off the ground, high on the ground, and off the ground for some fun. And uh, I think the results are here. Two teams winning national championships. It's a great weekend, and uh, you know, I might just retire on this. This is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, you, had, you had a great game yourself. You were, you it took me a little while to get going. I got a little yelling from, from the runners, and that probably came through the coach. Uh, kind of woke me up in the second half. I'm not as young as I used to be, apparently. So I can only get about a good 20 minutes in, but uh, I felt like I contributed near the, at the end. And yeah, it wasn't about me. We had great team effort everywhere, back line, front, everywhere. We worked so hard. We battled near the end. And uh, I think the results are, you know, we're pretty happy with the results. I don't think I'm just complaining. Congratulations. Go, go be with your mates. Thank you.